Hey everybody, welcome back to Ripping for Ripkins. It's Corey, and thank you for being here tonight. Another retail rip. Just kind of trying to keep touch base with you guys and keep a video coming. I didn't have a lot to choose from this this week. So I did have some Series 2 uh, gravity packs, and I had some Heritage and some loose packs, which I haven't bought before. So I figured I'd take a look at these and chat with you guys just to make sure that we keep some sense of normalcy throughout this process and we'll see if we find anything cool tonight there's something cool for me at least there's my gold card the Mike Miner and the Ozzy Smith Turkey Red Cole Hamels who is not pitching I wonder I'm not sure if he's coming back this year or not Kind of lost track of why he was out. I know Felix Hernandez opted out, but I don't think Hamels did. My Braves fans will have to let me know. There's a Thor card, Mookie Betts. Joey Gallo. And there's the Mike Yastrzemski 85 design. That's pretty cool. Yastrzemski was leading the majors last week in war. But I'm not sure if he still is now. I think Luis Robert was second the time I looked. It's hard to keep that updated. It switches so much with games taking place every single day. Oh, what we got? What we got? Oh, Danny Mendick. The Omen of Series 2. Wade Miley... Significant statistics might trout. I actually may have had that one already, but I'll have to take a look. And yes, I got it at Target. It was on sale. I got it at Target. It's real nice. Jack Flaherty, I know I didn't have his turkey red yet. If you guys know what movie I'm referencing, this is where you belong. My boy Will Farrell. Austin Hayes moved from the leadoff spot down to the ninth spot, and he's always followed by Ryan O'Hearn. Last year it was Cedric Mullins. This year it's Austin Hayes. There's Felix Hernandez. Speaking of him earlier, and then the Manny Machado home run challenge card. Glad I haven't filled that out yet. He hasn't done a whole lot this year. Daniel Norse. Gold. So two golds. It's not bad when you're buying these $1.99 packs. These were $1.99 at Target because I got the $1 off coupon for my Uts, which is why I purchased all these. I bought a lot of Uts chips. And I got some rainbow foil, looks like, happening back here. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be a Luis Robert foil that would be nice and Duhar I think the uh, Yankees just opted him and it's the Nick Whitgren honestly had not heard of that guy so we'll put him over to the side and the Ivan, Ivan Nova so not bad. Hunter Harvey rookie card as the turkey red. So three golds. That's pretty nice. I'll definitely take it. Philly special. None of the key rookies have shown up in these uh, gravity packs, though. There's the Brooklyn Dodgers. I think I have had this one three or four times there's a warmonger Fernando Tatis number 28 out of the set with Sean or Seth Brown Sean Seth Brown turkey red Ryan McMahon and Bruce Dar Gatterall I think will end up being a pretty good rookie out of this set down the road too he was part of the Mookie Betts trade at one point 
and then Boston wanted to use him as a starter and vetoed the trade, or at least did not want him as part of the trade. But the Dodgers did want him, and they went ahead and got him. So he is now a Los Angeles Dodger. So is Ross Stripling. Come on, short print. Will Smith Gold Cup, Kopech. Lorenzo Kane, who also opted out. Jake Rogers. And the Dylan Bundy in his Angels gear and Suarez. So only two packs left of Series 2. Looks like we are going to have a tough time pulling a Robert, unless maybe we get a gold card, because the golds have been appearing. Justin Dunn rookie. I think that'll be a good one down the road as well. Pretty good prospect for the uh, Mariners. Paul DeYoung. He had a positive test a couple weeks ago. Kevin Kramer. What's going on with this card? Why was it upside down? Huh. Interesting. Maybe it was just that time. The Cattell Marte. And Ichiro Turkey Red are my inserts. And Stevie Wilkerson is the last card. So last pack. Let's see if we can get some mojo here. Everybody says they would take a base. Just give me a base, but I want a short print. I'm greedy. There's Zimmerman, DJ Stewart, Tony Kemp again. Xander Bogarts. Yeah, a few of these landscape cards. And let's see what we get here. Ooh, a blue Tatis. Now this is nice. It is not the numbered card, but it is a blue parallel. Those are pretty sweet. Man, that'd be awesome. They should have made them all look like that. That's a nice looking card. And the Ty Cobb, Turkey Red. So no key rookies. We got some second tier rookies. Justin Dunn and Gratterall. So now we get to rip some heritage. Let's put these up here. We'll rip this pack. I'm gonna open really easy. Zach Gallon rookie card then and now uh <gasps> excuse me abreu and killabrew i did not have that one so that's a nice new one for the collection never open these single packs of heritage only hangers and blasters so i had to give it a try and see what was going on with these fulton avage Rosario, Anibal Sanchez, and I wonder if they have short prints the same way. Oh, we do. Good Lord, that guy got a beaten right there, didn't it? Put that off to the side. But we did get a short print, the Eddie Rosario SP. So that's a nice, getting it out of a what, 299 pack. Definitely will take that. Because that's really what it comes down to for me now is like my dollar per SP. Like how much do I have to put into it to get a SP? There's a tray. Oh, we got see. We got our, got our card back without a corner. So that was nice. No inserts in there. Christian Stewart's hot. Oddball. Shout out to Shane at Oddball Cards. Who always says, when we see Christian Stewart, that Kristen Stewart is hot. I do not disagree. All right, so let's get this blaster and see what we can find. This one is where the potential is, I think, for the better cards. Pull us another chrome would be nice. 
at least set this up somewhat respectable. Kipnis Turner, two. There's the 20 Giant season 1971. Willie Mays, that's a nice one. That is part of a, uh, uh, I want to say 20, 25 card insert set. I forget now. Oh, it's a 20 card inset. Duh. It's 20 giant seasons. Yeah, that just happened. Wow. It says 20. All right, moving on. Buster Posey. Michael, this Michael Givens. So we may have something in this one. We may not. Notice there's a there's kind of a system to their blaster packs. The more you open, you kind of get a feel for these and the inserts that come in it. Mookie Betts is probably a short print. He is. So a nice SP there. The Mookie Betts, another. Boston's final opportunity to see him in the Red Sox gear. Especially now. I think a lot of people thought he would go back after the season. Be like a rental player, but not now. Mookie Betts got paid. And we got the Willie Stargell baseball flashback. Reaches 30 home runs before the All-Star break. And you see the BF-13. Richie Martin. And with the hit, Maryfield ends that one off. So we're coming down to our final four packs, and this is typically where we get any kind of potential hits, Sh bigger short prints. So I have to be extra careful through here. Correa may be a, or maybe Bryant, one of those two could be an SP. Or neither one could be an SP. I feel like that pack right there has got something in it. The next to last one usually is the one. I feel like they make packs now just to assist with videos. Wouldn't that be the case? And the Yamamoto rookie card. So there he is, Cole Calhoun. Had a game win hit the other day. I feel like Cole Calhoun got traded. Maybe he is on the Angels. I thought he was on the Diamondbacks. But another SP I didn't have nonetheless. So two packs left. And I'll let you get back to your everyday lives. And I hope you're... If you're new here, you'll click that subscribe button, turn that bell on for notifications down there, and follow me for future videos and card openings. TJ Zoik, shout out to Fuzzmosis for pointing out how to say Zoik instead of me saying Zoich or Zook. <laughs> Will Smith Gold Cup. Every catcher card has this pose. I'm going to keep that out. I got to show these catcher poses. But leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of Heritage and Series 2. Leave me a like if you like these products. Or you like the video. So appreciate you guys being here. And thank you on the 600 subs once again. New Age Performer. Insert Jorge Soler. Junior Fernandez. The Nolan Arenado. That's a good one. That's one of my PC guys. So we won't get a... Uh, short print in here because we got the insert but that's it for the day thank you guys for checking this out and until next time later guys